Recently, somebody discovered a connection between Pokemon Legends ZA and the Paldea region or the Scarlet and Violet games. So basically within the reveal trailer or announcement trailer of Legends ZA, we got like this kind of file theme going on like where the looks like a file pops up and there's text on the screen and whatever the Pokemon language is actually called, but that actually is in the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon games, that exact script. So I'll have the pictures on the screen so you know exactly what I'm talking about. But this was discovered by a Reddit user named Kyle Lavere or Lavere, and this is pretty cool because it's like a direct connection. Also, if you guys don't mind leaving a like and a comment and subscribing to the channel, it really helps so much and I appreciate every single one of you that does support the channel. And what I immediately thought about was a Reddit post that I saw a couple months ago about somebody playing Pokemon X and there is a room in a building, I don't know where specifically this room is, but basically it's a bunch of shelves with a violet and a scarlet book. I'll also have this picture on the screen so you know exactly what I'm talking about again. But I think this is really interesting because these could be somehow related to the scarlet and violet books, you know, that we all know that are in the games of scarlet and violet, which I don't know if that's necessarily true because at the time of Pokemon X and Y releasing, I doubt that they were even thinking about Pokemon, you know, Scarlet and Violet. I mean, they did kind of register the name Scarlet, I believe, or they, they copyright or trademark that name, I believe in like 2009, actually. So this could, ju this could just be like a random thing that Game Freak did years and years ago, just in case they ever actually used the name Scarlet and Violet. I don't think they directly had a storyline um, attached to that, but they could obviously go back and retcon that to make that actually be the case. There's also some blue books in the back, which this Reddit user also was like, maybe the blue book in the back could be the DLC, which kind of could be. We got the Indigo Disc kind of bluish, so I mean, in a way, that would make sense. That This is a stretch here. This is, this is not really connected to the script being connected from the Legend Z8 and Paldea region, but the reason I bring this up is because apparently this building is owned by like Paldea Realty or something like that or Scarlet and Violet Realty which um is just like an in-game just like random uh thing that a character mentioned it says right here apparently all five of these buildings are owned by a real estate firm called Paldea Realty so maybe Paldea Realty owns this building in the Kalos region or maybe Lumio City and maybe that's gonna have some something to do with the storyline of Legends ZA because why else would this be in the reveal trailer of Legends ZA like this exact script kind of suspicious kind of uh interesting here I really wonder what this entails currently there's not more information about this so obviously it's really unknown what specifically this means but I feel like it's a big deal just because it's in the trailer I don't think they would slap this in the trailer just just for no reason I don't really know what the connection may be, maybe something to do with like Paradox, maybe there's like some underground basement in one of these buildings in the Paldea region as well as the Kalos region that has like some sort of like underground bunker where you can t time travel or there's some like Paradox secrets down there, something like that. I feel like that would be kind of an interesting storyline because since this Legends EA game is still releasing within the Generation 9 like um storyline i guess i'll say there will be some obvious connections and there will be just some random connections that don't have to do anything with the storyline but let me know what you guys think about this i feel like this is pretty big and i can't wait until people discover more thoughts and more theories and just kind of understand what this means more in depth and we also got a tweet from riddler coup which as we all know a lot of people are upset at him a lot of people are hating on him right now because he got some things wrong which who knows they may not be wrong they just may not come into fruition yet because um there may be a pokemon game still released this year i personally doubt it but i definitely think it's still on the table and i definitely still think it could happen but basically he gave a list of mythical pokemon and what what games they were in so like Mew, BDSP, you know, Jirachi, BDSP, Deoxys, Oras, uh, Manaphy, Legends Arceus, we got Darkrai, Legends Arceus, and Shaman, and Legends Arceus, and then Arceus is in BDSP and Legends Arceus, Victini, to be determined. A lot of people think that could be like a Generation 5 game coming out this year, which, you know, who knows? Maybe Victini will come back in his own game. That'd be pretty cool, but uh, Caldeo, Sword and Shield, we got Meloetta, 
um, Scarlet and Violet, and then Genesect, also to be determined, interesting, and then Deonsei, or Deancey, Hoopa, and Volcanion, which has a Kaku, which, as we all know, or if you don't know, that stands for Legends ZA. That's just like the code name that they used, uh, so that's officially revealed as, you know, Legends ZA. So Deancey, Hoopa, and Volcanion are coming in to Legends ZA, which is pretty cool to see some of these Pokemon again. I feel like we haven't seen Hoopa in a long time. I believe Deancey is the only Mega Evolution from Generation 6, which is pretty cool. So I guess we'll see what that entails. I wonder if these Pokemon, these mythical Pokemon that are coming in, Legend CA, have anything to do with the actual overall storyline or not. They could just be, you know, special events or just in the game just to catch for fun. I, I don't know what to say about this. I, I feel like Deancey may actually have something to do with the storyline, but... Hopefully Hoopa and Volcanion do, they're pretty cool. Hoopa, I feel like needs more love, especially Volcanion, I feel like he needs some more love too. It'll be interesting to see as well if Victini and Genesect show up in Legends ZA. I would love to see both of them, I think they're some great mythicals right there. Victini debatably is my favorite mythical out of all the mythical Pokemon out there, and Genesect is really, really cool as well. So as we all know, you know, Riddler Q never specifically tells us more so we just gotta assume that they're gonna show up in the game hopefully he'll tell us if they like what they do if they have something to do with the storyline if we could just catch them or not but i thought that this was pretty cool and i was kind of shocked to see that this script or text in scarlet and violet that you can find right now was in the trailer and that it actually took this long for somebody to discover and that even somebody discovered it in general i think that's pretty pretty cool and i cannot wait for the connection to be discovered even more because this is pretty big news like like i said i feel like this has to this has to have a deeper meaning and there are people that have kind of like decrypted or whatever the the pokemon language but it's not like a hundred percent so i'm sure as the days goes on so i'm sure as the day goes on and you know the weeks go by people kind of kind of figure out more specific stuff from the trailer and everything and just kind of uncover and unearth some more connections between Scarlet and Violet and Paldea. Like I mentioned a lot earlier, this could literally just be just something to connect the games in general. This could mean really nothing, but going back to what I said earlier, like it, it has to mean something specific because it was in the reveal trailer. The reveal trailer is only like, I don't know, a minute long, a minute and a half long or so, and why would they waste valuable time in specific space in this trailer just to put Paldea Realty or whatever it may say. I just feel like it has to mean something deeper and maybe it just does say Paldea Realty but it could have a deeper meaning like what what is what are they hiding like what are these buildings hiding who owns who specifically owns the Realty company and who owns these buildings and what are they hiding in it? Could they be hiding some paradox information? Because it seems like ZA, Legend ZA, is going to take place in the past and the future. It looks like it starts in the beginning of Kalos or, or Lumios, and then it kind of goes into the futuristic vibe going on. So maybe we have some Paradox Pokemon come in from the past or present or future, and they kind of give us some more clues and more of a backstory behind some more Paradox Pokemon. Maybe we'll get some more Paradox variants. I think that would be pretty cool. It's really interesting to think about like the backstory and, and really trying to delve, and really trying to like dwell deep in try to come up with some conspiracies or just random things about what this could actually entail i'm really curious to hear your guys thoughts though please leave a comment down below i love to hear them and i'll see you guys in the next video peace